right? Let's do it. Okay, a one, a two, a one, two, three, four. It's time for celebrity theme songs. Writing songs, writing songs about celebrities. It's time for celebrity theme songs. Writing songs, writing songs about celebrities. Celebrities, hey! Well, 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 we are back for another celebrity theme song, and let's not let's you know let's not hide it at all. We no. have an amazing guest today, someone who we've had the privilege of sharing the stage with. That's right on national TV, the one, the only Terry Crews. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness, we love you. It's so good to see you again, Terry. Oh, well, thank you for inviting me to be on. I remember when you invited me a while back, I said, I'm doing it. I am doing it. And here I am. The day is here. It's come to fruition. You we're know, so it's, psyched. It's so great that we're here, Terry, because we obviously, you know, met performing a song that we had written about you. Mm -hmm. And this whole <laughs> podcast is us writing songs for and about and expressing for celebrities. So yeah. it's it's really fortuitous that we're here right now. Yeah, that's right. It's the, the song that we wrote for you was almost the genesis of what would become this podcast. So yeah. we have you to thank for that. Too. I love it. I still have the flag. I still <gasps> have Do you really? the flag. My wife won't let me put it up. But, uh, <laughs> uh, I have, I, I, have I, I was like, one. it would look right. It would look really good on fireplace. And she's like, no, no, no. You know. I'm so glad uh, you kept So I that. use it as a blanket sometimes, a little sheet, you know, it feels comfy. <laughs> My wife also won't let me hang my flags. I have the other one. There were two, so we 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 share them. We have one each. It's really a collector's item shared across uh, yeah, the two of us. Yeah, I mean, I it's probably worth like millions of oh dollars. Oh my gosh! You yeah, know? Uh, at least at least at least <laughs> at least. Uh, well, we're so excited to have you. We were actually just chatting uh, beforehand about just music in general. You know, everyone, we've seen you play the flute, but I would love to know just before we dive in what your sort of relationship with music in your life has been, how you started playing the flute, other musical passions and stuff like that. Wow. Um, it really started at a very young age. I was probably about eight years old and um, my I had a great aunt and everyone called her Mama Z. She was mm. the matriarch of our family. And she was really big, you know, she would take us to church and the whole thing, and she was really big on on music. And she asked me and my brother, uh, what instruments did we want to play? And my brother was like, guitar. And I was in a really big hurry. Like, I, I wanted to go out and play. I, you know, it's like when old people talk to you, you're like, uh, and uh -huh. you just kind of nod and keep going. I was like, ah, flute, bye. <laughs> and I ran outside. <laughs> And lo and behold, uh, under the Christmas tree that year was a brand new guitar for my brother and a flute for me. Wow. And I was like, oh, damn it, I should have <laughs> said drums. Why didn't I say drums? I, 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 I still, that, like, you know, you have that endless loop that was like, what was that? How did, how did this happen? And the fact is my uncle, uh, my, my aunt's husband was a, uh, woodwind player. So he played oh, sax wow. and flute and all this stuff. And he was, but he would really spend a lot of time in his basement high. That was one of the things he, <laughs> he was a real jazz guy, like a true purist. Hell yeah. And it was like, <laughs> you know, uh, and we would occasionally see him play, but he, we would always, he had this basement that was constantly smoky and incense <laughs> and he would hear music coming out. So that's where I got the little flute thing from. Wow. But he was my teacher. Wow. Uh, my mother said, you made, you told your aunt that you wanted this, so I'm gonna make you play it. And wow. I had to practice an hour a day. Wow. I went once a week to my uncle's house and learned how to play the flute. And I did that for probably four or five years wow, until I was wow. about 14 years old. Wow. So from about nine to 14. Uh, and I always had it. And it was one of those things he would let us, he would, we would, he would have me play along to different records. Mm. And the big thing, and I I know this is long, but no, no, the please, big, big thing was the Taxi, the Taxi uh, theme song <gasps> by Bob James was the coolest thing in the world at the time. You heard that? Cool. Doo -doo 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 -doo. It was like, oh yeah, that's the vibe right there, you know. And um, also, you know, you start to know it once you start playing it. You notice it everywhere. Yeah. Like 
everywhere. Mm. Dr. Dre has mm. flute in mm. almost every one of his songs. Mm. It's it's a big black exploitation mm. uh, mm. instrument. You know mm. what I mean? Every funky, you know, mm. Earth, Wind, and Fire to yeah. all the funky like right along with that that guitar. There was like a nice little flute in the background cool. that really cool. funked up your song mm. and. It became, from, you know, for one, people were like, man, you're too big to play the flute. But I was like, this is the actual, one of the coolest instruments ever created. Wow. You know, when you see quite challenging it, when you to finally play. recognize how many songs the flute has been in, you're like, oh, wait, wait a minute. This is, it's right up there with all the rest of them. Mm -hmm. right? Absolutely. And and you, I, it's very cool to watch you play it. Yeah. It's, it's <laughs> also, it's like, it. As in terms of playing it, it is one of the more challenging of sort of like the basic band instruments. Uh, the the fingerings are quite goofy and don't make any sense. And you got to figure out how to get that air to make sound. The air is tough. Like, it's a challenging oh, one. Um, it's a, well, it, first you got to find out how. This is I, I brought in my little flute here. Yeah. And first of all, you got to find out. This is the you know I spent like I remember three weeks with just this piece. Yeah, and you just try to find out where to place your lips. And it's weird because it's kind of like walking. Because mm. once you find it, you never forget where that spot is. Mm. I can do it on straws, wow. on mm -hmm. other things, and I make my little sound like <laughs> and I, I can do it, you know, I get a McDonald's cup and I'm like making noise and like, how you doing there? You know? <laughs> uh, it's kind of a sweet spot you find and all of a sudden you don't forget it. But I, for years, I just walked around with this little <laughs> and just learn how to yeah. do it. That was one of the things. And then you had to practice the fingering. And it's so wild because I actually used to read music yeah. and now, yeah. you know, that were, there were times where I, I could really read and kind of get my little four, four going and all that. And now I lost it. You know yeah. what I mean? Too much, too many other, maybe too much football. That was it. Yeah. That might have done it. A little CTE kind of gets in the way <laughs> of reading music. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're, I mean, uh, you know, we're musicians and part of our main thing is always like putting music in places maybe it isn't always expected to be, which is maybe with comedy and stuff and being able to do the stuff on AGT was great because also as a French horn player, that's another instrument that not very cool. <laughs> but once you know it, as soon as you start listening, it's in everything that's yes. ever been cool. Yes. It's all the hero parts in all the Star Wars music. It's all the hero parts in any adventure uh, orchestral piece. It's just like it's an important instrument and it's really cool and it's challenging and it's uh, but it's also hilariously. I think that the the stigma of flutes are is for girls. Most people don't know that right. French horns also had the same stigma. Mm. It's like yeah. the girl brass. Wow. Uh, and I was like, ah, it doesn't matter who do you, you think, are. Do you think that comes from the fact that it's French and that seems very like sexy? Yes, yeah, sexy. <laughs> uh, <laughs> that might no, have something to do. With I that. think it's because all the boys were like, I want to play trumpet. I want to play trombone. And I I don't know. I think girls were like, I don't want to sit by those boys. I'll play the French horn. <laughs> You know, you know what's crazy is that um, when I notice when people grow up and you, as long as you stick with what you love mm -hmm. and you do it, like imagine like Hans Zimmer mm -hmm. growing up, they, he probably was like, yeah, they were like, what, what are you going to do with that? You know, um, and now you just I, I mean, he's like one of my favorite, favorite, uh, you know, score guys, mm -hmm. you know, guys from movie scores. Yeah. I mean, the Interstellar score is still to yeah. this day like one of my it's most pretty icon, wild. like oh my god it's up there with john williams from star yeah, wars yeah, and absolutely. all this stuff and you start to realize man um that this world is much bigger than your high school that's mm. that's the thing you know mm. what i mean and you realize you've been thinking high school yeah since you know yes. since you left yes. <laughs> oh, yeah and when you open up and go oh my god wait a minute this is one thing that agt has really opened up for me like yeah you know because you get a big respect for people who dedicate their lives to doing things amazingly like mm. that's it and yeah and that, it's really the secret man it's the mm. secret to happiness i think is when you really find your purpose and just do whatever you know and what you love and don't stop don't quit i i've never stopped working out i still play the flute uh, I still do. I did. I still dance. Everything I do now, I I was doing when I was nine. 
Yeah. Wow. And that's just the way it goes. That's awesome. Wow. I'm like in tears over here. It's beautiful. Yeah. <laughs> there's never been this emotional on a celebrity theme song. It's usually just you know, oh, no. jokes. This is great. But it's, 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 you know, it goes back to, we were talking a little bit earlier about how with kids yeah. and how they're taking music out of the schools, man. Yeah. And yeah. I think that it's a big, big mistake, dude. I'm, I'm right brain, left handed. Yeah. Yeah. I, I am a creative person. Mm -hmm. yeah. I, I can't imagine, you know, going just, my thing is, is that to me, music helps you figure out math. It does. Yes. It's, it's very it literally math. is math. It's yeah. math in a lot of ways. Yeah, it's, it's about one hundred percent. The notes are equating and mm -hmm. subtracting and adding mm -hmm. and right. harmonizing. Time signature, and, yeah, everything. The harmonics, oh, how they work. It's right. all math, and, and it's just like it's, it's a fun way to do math. Mm -hmm. Like Absolutely. counting to four is way more fun when you do it in a rhythm. Right. <laughs> That's yeah. how, you, and it's how you learn. That's how I yeah. learn. Mm -hmm. You know, I actually sing lines. Oh, like nice. if I had to learn wow. my lines, wow. I learned the rhythm. If I was like, you know, I'm going to see you tomorrow. And I would hear, I would hear it as a song. I'm going to see you tomorrow, you know, wow. and you kind of sing it mm -hmm. and it helps you remember it. Yeah, Shakespeare you know, over here. That's Put, crazy. Putting, putting words to meter. That's yeah, a, yeah, that's a real. That's, that's real. Cool. That's real. That's awesome. Well, I I want to jump to it because you spoke of a lot of people you have respect for and your whole philosophy of what makes you you know have a happy life. But we asked you to bring a celebrity that you admire that you think is awesome, and we're going to write a theme song together with you for that uh, celebrity. But who is it that we're writing a theme song for today? Man, my guy Samuel L. Jackson. Hell yeah. Samuel Let's do it. Hell yeah. Let's do it. You got to understand, Sam has been, you know, what's so crazy about his whole career, man. He started out as an extra in like coming to America. Mm. And you would see him in spotty things like school days with Spike Lee. And he had one line. Mm. And then he ended up in almost every major franchise <laughs> you could ever put together from Star Wars to uh you know yeah. jurassic park yep. and then the iconic pulp fiction he should have got an oscar for pulp fiction yeah absolutely one of the most amazing performances i've ever seen anyone ever do it was that was an acting class it mm -hmm. was uh mm -hmm. it was a lesson just for every young actor it was absolutely amazing pulp mm. fiction fam jackson and he's funny he's smart and he's still doing it still he's doing never it. stopping no. No, still. I love that man. man. He's yep. he's amazing. Um, and a really cool fun fact about um, Pulp Fiction is uh, is that he are, are you aware that Quentin Tarantino actually wrote that part for Samuel L. Jackson? Yes, because he auditioned earlier. That's right. I, I heard that. I heard that he auditioned for earlier. Dogs. And he was so impressed because they actually had another guy that was going to play his part, and then mm -hmm. he, I mean, Quentin just was like whatever you know and this is another thing i gotta bring up because you know i i know it's a podcast but you know please he actually was on he had a drug problem and acting saved his life wow. it's one of those things wow. that was so amazing that wow. he you know he went the wrong way and we all do you know we all have mm -hmm. different things that we got to correct and other thing but I, I i just love what that story is because mm. he was really addicted to some really hard stuff and, oh, yeah. and acting and the creative life saved him it saved him dude that's exactly one of the best things ever man it's exactly what we we're talking about earlier about the art the power of art it's so deep you know you can really just change a whole life it's incredible when you think about samuel I, l jackson do you think about like a you know a style of music a vibe, a vibe a you know a groove I, I, a genre i definitely think 70s 80s late 70s kind of okay. thing oh, you know so what funky. i mean I, I, go, I gotta go black exploitation era a little funky with sam you know a little bit of the shaft play out you know what i mean uh -huh. he was shaft <laughs> yeah something like that Let me see what no. Yeah, see, that's a D. Just wanna go a little faster. Mm hmm. Cool. Ooh. Cool. That's great. Okay, cool. Sick. What? I like it. Now, have you <laughs> you've you've been able to work with him ever? Uh, actually, no, we've mm. never done a movie together, but we, I have met him on, on several occasions. What, what was it like to, to meet him? 
Well, I, I told him, I told him, I said, hey man, you know, you are my hero in this business. And I said, you know, if I ended up just half as good as you, you know, I just, and he was just really respectful. And he was like, thank you, Terry, you know, he, and he, it's wild because he just gave me so much advice and he was like, always, always come prepared, always know your stuff. And mm. he said, but what was really, really cool. He was like, I'm watching you, you know? And he wow, said, I, I, you're doing good, Terry. And I was just like, you know, it's one of them things yeah. where you're like, oh my God, my hero actually notices, yeah, you know, who I am. Because again, he's done so much. And this is the thing that I realized and I want to be, uh, and uh, to follow his example is to really keep working. Like, mm. you know, cause what happens as an actor, you, you get real precious and mm. you're like, I want to do perfect, but he's got roles that didn't work. Roles that were very, very small roles that were very forgettable along with the, the uh, and I took that example because I've had that kind of same thing, but then no one really remembers the things that don't work. They always remember wow. the things that do. Wow. And yeah. you wow. know what I mean? That, that is sound. very true. That is deep. That is deep because That's I feel true. like most people we get feel up. the opposite. Oh, yeah. I did this one bad thing. I can never do it again. I can never, no. you know, go for Everyone's going to remember this bad thing mm -hmm. and hear, you know, Terry Crews, Samuel L. Jackson saying like, just keep it moving, keep it grooving. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. no one keep forgets, moving. no one remembers. But yeah. that's the, that is the creative life though. Mm -hmm. I mean, how many songs, how many riffs, how many things that just don't work out, <laughs> yep. but then it's in the journey <laughs> yes. where you find that hit. Yes, mm -hmm. yes. Mm -hmm. yes. For Lou yes. Berger, we had to write our weird <laughs> pumpkin boob song to get to <laughs> our genius, you know, uh, sausage is a roasted dick song. Yes, yes. you understand. <laughs> <laughs> you get you it, love, man. But you guys have a genre, man. This is what I love, man. You know, Weird Al is a good friend of mine. Oh, I that's love Weird amazing. Al. We're but so look jealous. at what he's done. You know what yeah, I mean? Like, he's incredible. He's an icon. He was an, I mean, Dude, listen, he never yeah. stopped. Yeah. You yeah. know, and he's now that. And you guys are like a group that can run this thing, man. You know what I'm saying? We're trying. From your, good stuff. From your mouth to God's ears, <laughs> yeah, Terry. Right. We'll take it. <laughs> um, what, what is your favorite performance of Samuel L. Jackson? Oh, good question. Oh, I, again, I had I mentioned it is Pulp Fiction. Right. Okay. Okay. So, um, mm -hmm. I just thought he sh the, the, the shine was unreal. Yeah. It was so incredible. It was a world that you were totally immersed in. And you, I mean, here you're talking about a hitman that you actually sympathize with. You, oh, you had yeah. empathy with him. You yeah. were like, you know, I, yeah. I get this guy, yeah. a, a lovable hitman. Yeah. Well, and his <laughs> journey, know? his journey How in Pulp did he Fiction. How do that? Yeah, he's got like such a beautiful arc in, in that film because he starts off as this, you know, very unfeeling, it seems like, man that just will, you know, murder you as long as the paycheck's coming. But then by the end of it, he's like, nope, I'm, I need to give that up and I need to walk the earth. He really... That's the, right, because he, he, he had that, that epiphany. He had that moment and it was so good. Like, you know, going from bad to good is something that we all have to do. Yes, I mean, <laughs> it's know? literally, you watch somebody that doesn't fear anything instantly fear God. And, he, it, yeah. and it actually has an impact on him. I think it's a really cool moment. Um, oh. Something that we do with, with the, to get our song going is we usually try to get a little bit of backstory, a little bit of back history. Mm -hmm. You know, just some, well, when did they start acting? When did they grow up? You know, was there an inspiration that got them into it? Um, those types of things we can pepper it in with our songwriting process. And we do that by going to wikipedia.com. Yeah. <laughs> wikipedia, the free encyclopedia. Uh, and uh, we find that he was born December 21st, 1948. He's an American actor and producer. Uh, he's the most, one of the most widely recognized actors Absolutely. of his generation, which I think we all agree. And then, you know, it just lists forever a bunch of blue text of yeah. movies <laughs> that he's been in. He's worked with like every major director, Spielberg, obviously oh. Jurassic Park, Quentin Tarantino and Pulp Fiction. I mean, you could probably, uh, M. Night Shyamalan, it's it, just so many big directors he's worked with. Oh, um, yes. Keith, what else? Do you oh, that's to? right. I uh, he was uh, pursuing a degree in marine biology Whoa. initially in uh, Atlanta, Georgia, but then he joined a local acting group to earn extra points in a class, and he found that acting was his thing. But he thought he was going to be a deep only child, ocean study. Yeah, he's an only child, only raised child. by his Ooh, mom. Ooh, representing. Um, <laughs> I think it's pretty amazing. <laughs> Anytime anyone has 
a career goal that is a specific science and then they switch to acting, I think that's awesome. <laughs> just yeah. because like, it's, well, I think it's an interesting to find Whoa. that your passion is something and then you just discover it's something else. Because so many people want to be actors because they ultimately they want to be famous or they think they want to be famous they think that this is a, a way to have success and success is measured by fame perhaps but when you go into something like oh no i actually want to study stuff that grows underwater <laughs> and then but then i just found that i was good at something completely unrelated and i thought i'd see how that goes and you find your way there i mean that is that is when there's talent and you know a passion in someone that even they didn't know they had yeah. and that just gets to blossom naturally which is awesome and then also you know i think growing up at any time and working your way through the career takes a lot of persistence like you said you can't focus on the little things or the things that y you might get hung up on like your own failures but just keep reaching for something and you'll just drive through it eventually and uh, he's perhaps the best example of that yeah that's actually not unlike you terry like you know uh, listen i i followed his example but in the hosting side too. Sure. Um, mm -hmm. I, I hosted Who Wants to Be a Millionaire, the daytime version of that a few years back and did a 360 episodes that went daily oh my goodness. and was fired the <laughs> oh next <gosh>. year. <laughs> and I was like, oh, that didn't work. Wow. Uh, and it, you know, it was because I think the, the, the nature of the daytime you know, game show person where they were like, he's just too big. It's too much, mm. you know, because I was very loud and mm. very, ah, and they were mm. like, okay. And then I did another show called Funniest Fails, which was like a clip show. Sure. Uh, it was a little bit like America's Funniest Home Videos, but, and it was, I got to goop off and do, just really just riff on stuff. And that went a couple seasons and then it, it went down. I was like, oh, this is bad. And then I end up getting AGT champions. And it was perfect. Wow. Yeah. When I say perfect, it's like the world's biggest talent show yeah. with pound for pound, the world's biggest host. You know, it was <laughs> like I was made for it. Yeah. And but but the thing is, the reason I got into hosting was to try something. Like yeah. just risk it. Try it. I I you know, I got tired of you know, wanting to get chosen from, you know, uh, different acting gigs and not getting it. And I said, you know, there's there's gotta be another way to perform, mm. you know? I mean, there's, there's more than one way. Cause one thing people feel like is if you don't do this movie or this TV show, it's a wrap, it's yeah. a forget it. But you can do all kinds of things, man. It's like, I was always jealous of comedians mm. because even if they didn't get a part, they would get that performance bug really done when they went to the club right yeah and you can do that but I, as an actor i can't sometimes you can jump up and do scenes in a club you know <laughs> yeah. you're like oh. do a monologue <laughs> but hosting really you could do that well yeah. like so i i even started before i was doing a uh, millionaire i was hosting comedy shows even though mm. i wasn't a comedian i would be that name face or whatever that would bring up other acts of, and it's all about supporting the community and mm. supporting the creatives, man, because it's, sure. it's a hard life and we got to do this together, especially on the creative life, you know? Wow, wow you are a true, uh, true testament to that by the very fact of you being here. Terry, we, we have, we have, <laughs> with you, I'm with you. Okay, well, let's see. I'm, I'm, so what I've been doing this whole time is just trying to write everything you're saying and then rearrange it into things that rhyme, uh, which makes, wow. that's how songs are working. So I've got <laughs> two stanzas and then I've got a lot of garbledy gook underneath that's coming together. So Should we try it? Yeah. Let's slow it down even further. Give us a chance. Yeah. There? Yeah. It's real groovy. Yep. I guess I can get more syllables in cool. this way. That's good. One, two, three. Uh. Born in Chattanooga, Tennessee. I went to school for marine biology. I took an acting class just to help him pass and became legendary Samuel Jackson. <laughs> uh, so that, that, that then... Do, do we want to hit a different um, key on that? Yeah. Uh, Samuel Jackson. Let's go to G. He's in more movies than you could ever imagine. Yeah. Samuel L. Jackson. Yeah. Focus on the parts of your life with satisfaction. Yeah. Uh, that's that's as far as I've gotten. Oh, in hell real. yeah. Flute. Oh, yeah. Oh, so I've got 
I've got something for you, Terry, because <laughs> I didn't mention that he was a high school musician. Hey. And he played the French Whoa. horn. He what? played the trumpet. And he played the flute. What? Yes. You're kidding! That's right. He played the flute. You have more in common than you ever imagined. And that just gives I us... I did not know this! That gives us the opportunity to put a flute solo right in the middle of this. And it makes perfect sense. Which oh is incredible. Oh my god! Let me, hold on, let, me get, let me just put one more thing in order here. I love... I can't promise it'll be on key, though. But That's I, fine. I, I, That's it fine. It doesn't it's, matter. Just, it's jazz. <laughs> yeah. It's jazz. It's, it's, it's the about rules. hearing the notes that aren't right. <laughs> I'm gonna give you a cold train version. Perfect. <laughs> There we go. Perfect. Here we go. Uh, I'm just trying to. I love that. I sort of made him a little godlike, perhaps, in my definition of him, uh, because because he when you said that he was sort of watching your career, I was like maybe he watches over all all of us. You know, maybe he he watches over us. He knows who we are and he's rooting for us. So I want to put That's that. Right. In there. He's rooting. Right. I mean, I, he seems like the guy that if he got to know any person. And that person expressed their passion. He'd be like, "I'm I'm rooting for you." You know, it yeah. seems like the kind of guy he is. Uh, I've got that he. Um, I'm trying to put. What do I have here? I've got I've got this Samuel L. Jackson. He watches over us. He knows who you are. He's rooting for you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but then I got giving us the courage. He watches in the wings. A lovable hit man. A will never quit man. Samuel L. Jackson. Ooh. So hard to say that that double L in the middle is Samuel L. Yeah, Samuel L. L. It's Samuel Jackson. L. Samuel L. L. Samuel think, L. Do you think his company L. name is Samuel LLC? Oh my gosh. <laughs> Samuel L. <laughs> LLC. That was grooving that right was there. That's pretty great. That was cool. We figured Gotta it out. Fuck it up a yeah, bit. that was good. That was good. You could be playing that over top. Don't. Okay, so um, we're gonna go through. We're gonna do the same thing. The top one and two. One. So I'm calling the first phrase one, okay. and then that second phrase two. Cool. Then we'll go back to one. Yep. And then we're doing two, but it's gonna be probably a little faster. And okay. it ends with he played the flute in high school, and then you're just gonna take it away. And Sounds in good. in that time, I'll cobble together an ending. Okay, <laughs> sounds great. <laughs> so it's born. I'm uh, it. We're gonna go for it. Let me just lay down the meter, sort all together on it. Does that still feel good? That's perfect. Here we go. One, two, three. Oh. Born in Chattanooga, Tennessee, went to school for marine biology. Took an acting class just to help him pass and became legendary Samuel L. Jackson. He's in more movies than you could ever imagine. Samuel L. Jackson. Focus on the parts of your life with satisfaction. Giving us the courage, watching in the wings. A lovable hitman, a will never quit man. Samuel L. Jackson, an actor. He's cooler than cool, a musician. He played the flute in high school. Take it, Terry! Yeah, I gotta put some. I gotta. Yeah! Put some you're, yeah, you say you can't play flute anymore. If you can recognize the key and play a little ditty, you can play. You can play an instrument. That's all it is. That's all it is. That was great. We really left you hanging there, but for the latency, it'll be perfect for the recording. Yeah. We'll, we'll put it over our groove. Okay, yeah. good. Yeah. That was great. Put it all together. Dropped out all of our audio to not bleed into yours. Yes. I just gotta figure out how to structure this. Uh, focus on the flight, parts of your life with satisfaction. I've got given us the courage. He watches in the wings. This is sort of the idea he's he's watching over us. A lovable hitman, which is just a great phrase that yep. you said about yeah. Pulp Fiction. Yep. And then I wrote a will never quit man because yep. that sounds like what, who he is. Samuel L. Jackson. Um, but I don't know how I can get that metered into the song uh, yet. That's that's the struggle. We'll see, which part? Samuel uh, L. Jackson. Giving us the courage. He watches in the wings. A lovable hitman. A will never quit man. Samuel L. Jackson. 
Actually, let me do so, so good at so many things, and then I can get into the food faster. There you go. And what's the groove? Are we do? Are we gonna do the breaks there? I was going. Maybe I'll add a little bass so it's not so full. Yeah. Okay, let's go just from that second, um, giving us the courage, watching the wings, level him and we'll never quit, man. He's good at so many things. I'll and I like that little thing you were just doing that. John. Here we go. I'm gonna just do this one part. An actor, he's cooler than cool. Played all the parts that really rule. A musician, played the trumpet and the French horn and the flute in high school. It sort of works. It's more like an A, B, yeah. C, D, E, C okay. <laughs> rhyming That's schedule. Cool. But That's yeah. Great. Uh, I just like that. Got a schoolhouse that. rock vibe. Yeah, yeah it really does. <laughs> I just like that sort of like. <laughs> It's almost spoken. It's a little more rhythmic uh, in that with, with, with what you guys are doing there. Yes. So, like, how can we embrace that more? Yes. Yeah. I feel like we're down in um, what was what? Who did you take uh, flute from? It was Mama Z's husband? Uh, no, no, that was my Uncle John. Your yeah, Uncle John. Down in his basement. Uncle John down in Uncle John's basement. With a little incense burning. <laughs> <A> little incense. <laughs> Smells like patchouli down there. He used, to, he used to have a calendar that had all the sexual positions on it. You know what I mean? That's exactly. And I remember I was like, I could not take my eyes off the calendar. I was like, wow. That sounds exactly <laughs> correct for this this attic and this song. I feel like. His basement. His basement. Um, we can amazing. sprinkle that in whenever yes. we need it. That's yes, that's like the melody. Mhm. Mm mhm. Mm okay, so. I have that cool. switching down to an actor. He's cooler than cool. Played all the parts and all the movies that really rule. A musician, a man on a mission, and played the flute in high school. Yeah, then nice. We get, then we get flute solo. Yeah, then we get flute solo. Then we just need some sort of, uh, like, almost like a hook for the end. Just like yeah, Samuel, Samuel Jackson. What? <laughs> what do you got? <laughs> right. He believes in all of us. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's like Santa Claus. He believes Claus. in all of us. <laughs> 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 I love that. Samuel L. Jackson. He believes in all of us. Yeah. Samuel L. Jackson. Nice, two at the end. Yeah. And then, are we? Am I doing this groove the whole song? I think so. Okay, I'll try. Other it. than we change that the chords oh, in right, that right. second part, but, but yes. I'll keep that groove. So I won't. I won't do the the stops. Okay. Do you like me on the stops though? I feel I like know. it's still. Let's groove on it. Okay. Two, three. Uh. Yeah, it's great arranging. Cool. Cool. Yeah, that sounds great. <laughs> okay, it's going along. <laughs> so we have a basically three chunks of lyrics, flute solo, quick. Uh, I'm sorry, four chunks of lyrics, flute solo, and then just the ending, which is just Samuel L. Jackson. He believes in all of us. Samuel L. Jackson, a man in Hollywood that you can trust. Oh, right. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Just a good guy. That's a that's a theme song if I've ever heard one. I think we're there. So <laughs> we're gonna. I think we can just. I think we'll nail it. We'll okay. see. We might take two tries. Okay, but let's, let's try. get our meter in here. And maybe a little bit louder on the drums? I think if you raise it on your end, Aaron, it'll, it'll be better than my end. Mine's getting fuzzy at, at okay, its volume nice. at this point. Oh, there we go. There it is. Okay, we ready? Yeah. Whew. Let me hear, see where we are. Yeah, and maybe we turn it up it anyway. We were pushing. Turn it up just a skosh. If you can push it, uh, his end is better than my end. Copy. Ready. Can we turn up the drums just a little bit there, Aaron? And Terry, are you recording your audio on your phone? Perfect perfection. Here we go. One, two, three. Born in Chattanooga, Tennessee Went to school for marine biology Took an acting class just to help him pass And became legendary Samuel L. Jackson He's in more movies than you could ever imagine Yeah Samuel L. Jackson 
Jackson. Samuel L. Jackson. Focus on the parts of your life with satisfaction. Yeah. Yeah. He's given us the courage. He watches in the wings. A lovable hitman who will never quit, man. So good at so many things. An actor. He's cooler than cool. Played all the parts in movies that are really rude. A musician. A man on a mission. And played the flute in high school. Samuel L. Jackson, he believes in all of us, yeah. Samuel L. Jackson, a man in Hollywood that you can trust. Yeah. Hell yeah! All right! One! That was a celebrity theme song. Write a song, write a song about celebrities. That was a celebrity theme song. With Terry Crews. That's a song about celebrities. With Terry Crews. Yay! Terry, this was uh, what a wonderful experience uh, for us. This is so great. We really appreciate you taking the time and hanging out with us today and writing the song and bringing a great uh, celebrity to write about. I had a lot of fun. This is awesome, man. It's a, uh, it works that creativity muscle. This is awesome. I, and it's a genius the way you guys come up with this stuff, man. Right off the, I mean, right off the cuff. This is absolutely, we, there was no rehearsal. It was all off the cuff. I love this. Oh, absolutely. Well, maybe sometime in the future when things are a little different, you can come in and we can jam properly together. Uh, I, I think we're at the end, man. I think this, this whole, you know. We're close. Uh, I hope it's an endemic. I pray yeah. it's an endemic. I hope we'll absolutely. We'll, we'll come in. Come in whenever you want. And do our thing. Yeah, Let's absolutely. Do it. And do you have any other projects other than, the, you know, the extreme uh, uh, AGT? Anything else that we can look forward to that you can talk about? I know something just so secretive. I know. So it's, uh, <laughs> I got a really cool secretive thing coming. Oh, well, it's very, very exciting. Hey, that's, uh, that's good to know. I, I, I can't say it yet. Of that's course. Okay. That's of all. course. But it's, it's really going to be cool. I love my life. I'm so, so blessed and to be able to do this and actually, you know, live the creative life and just perform and, and also help other acts become superstars. It's just the best thing in the world. It is. Dude. One hundred percent. So cool, Terry Crews. What, I mean, what even could be said? Yeah, you're just you're the coolest guy. <laughs> yeah. we, we, we really appreciate well, you, Terry. Uh, I hope we can get my wife to agree. That's, that's, <laughs> most yeah, important. That's all you gotta do. Always just tougher. Tell her. That's Always all. tougher. I'll do what I can. Um, well, thank you so much, Terry. You're yeah. the best. And we'll we see you. you. We'll see you next time. Love you guys, man. I want to see you back on AGT. You know you can come back. Well, we know. <laughs> we know. <Okay. laughs> We're just gonna we're just gonna be us doing the same song again for you. <laughs> we're just gonna come back we'll, we'll with do no, a we'll, Sam Jackson song. Well, that's true. Well, that's, that's true. That's hey, plan. that's not a bad idea. That's an amazing idea. There you go. Well, uh, thank you guys. Thank you, thank Terry. You so much. Thanks, Terry. Thank Perfect. you, everybody, Terry. for listening. Thank Follow you, us everyone. on the internet. You already do. Follow Terry. Make sure you watch his secret project. And of course, AGT February twenty first. AGT Extreme. Is that what it is? Is that is it Extreme AGT? That's it. AGT, AGT Extreme. Extreme. Yeah, Love we'll it. we'll be watching. Bye. 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 See you later. Thank cool. you 